Hey, hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. And we're inside the pyramid, next to the hole, the big hole. Uh, I built, I already built uh, item collection for the next single chunk farm. It's right here. What's it gonna be? Uh, I think it's, I think I already mentioned, I'm gonna do sugar cane. And I have an idea. And I had an idea, I had the whole design I was gonna do, and uh, and and I kind of changed my mind like early this morning. So I, I've been waiting to actually start building this so I could record it. And it just came to me this morning, literally in the bathtub. I was like, oh, I had this whole thing planned where I was going to do packed ice down here. I was going to do a little trench of packed ice with water flowing over here. And it created some interesting uh, design challenges. And... As a result, I decided to just say screw that and whoops, go with hoppers because <laughs> uh, it simplifies things and it will actually let me get in more sugarcane plants. Hey, uh, let me get in more sugarcane plants. So we're still going to use packed ice and water and all that good stuff, but we're going to do things a little different here. So let me get this base laid in and pop and pop and I don't need you and I don't need you do you need a way to get back out and that's what that is for hey uh oh and you uh oh um I'm actually done with hoppers now and ladders well not I have ladders here in my pocket okay the little ringlet hole up at the top kind of kind of looks like uh the corona of the sun during the total eclipse. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so I had this idea, and I'm really proud of it. So, so normally I was planning on doing this, and then I'd do like two, two more, two, a uh, 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 wall on the side here of two packed ice, and then I would start building up here, and each layer of this farm design is about five blocks tall. So basically meant I would spend an entire sort of modules of modules worth of height just getting the collection system uh, so the hoppers will add lag to the whole thing a little bit not a lot this isn't that many hoppers uh, but I think uh, the advantage of having water pushing along here and part of the problem is the water only flows so far, so there would have to be a break here, and either I'd have to lift up the first part of it another block, I mean taking another block of height at the bottom here, or there would be a break, and then I'd have to deal with that break, because any any items that fell onto the break and weren't actually moving laterally at the time would just sit there, and then other items would come along, other sugar cane would come along, and they'd, because we're on um, running the spigot server on the server, they just sort of clump up and it would be it would just be bad uh, so that would be a lot of loss so I was going to put a, a break up in the middle of the farm where there was a, a row here in each layer that wouldn't have any plants on it so that would be lost productivity so now I can actually build and get all of uh, basically I was only gonna have 11 plants per module per side and I think I'm going to get about 10 layers here so that was about 20 20 and that means 20 uh, that means 20 fewer plants sugarcane plants than than what I'm going to end up with now because of my bright idea So now I'll get 12 per, and by getting rid of this split, I'll actually increase as if I'm building a whole two extra layers, two extra modules, which I won't have to build. And on top of it, uh, I get to, because I'm starting down lower, I'll get to actually probably get 11, maybe 12 uh, in here. That means I'll have 22 or 24 modules with the effective uh, volume 24 or 26. Not that I need that much sugar cane, but um, I want it to be, you know, may as well build it somewhat nicely. So, 
And my other sprite idea was I could actually build the stuff down in the floor. So, first layer, I can actually build it along here. I can put water on here. The sugar cane will hold back the water. Very smart. Uh, as you see, I went down to bedrock here. So this is the first layer where bedrock starts to appear. So we need to put in, oop, um, what I'm calling indifferent blocks. Oops, and, and I could use anything here. Um, they just need to be solid blocks. And then along the backside here, not that I need it in this case, but I want to put in, I need something to hold the water that will be here in order to let the sugar cane grow. And as a result, uh, it's convenient to use sea lanterns on the upper levels. So just for, for uh, consistency, I'll put in that. So what we'll do is we'll go put in this. Yep. And then I need water and I have, I have plenty of ice. And I could just do one water source there and one water source here. Uh, and that would work, right? The flowing water will, will allow the sugar cane to plant, um, but I've got plenty of ice. And with the flowing water, you get water sounds and... There we go. Nice, so now I need to plant some sugar cane. Right? Pop, 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 pop. And my plan was originally to put like wherever the, the, the break in the water here. So the water flows from there over here. So I'd get in something like six and then I'd have to have one gap, a gap like here and then uh, no plant. But I don't need to do that. Now on top of this, I'm gonna put in couple blocks and I'm and I need blocks that cannot be pushed by slime blocks and I'm using uh, glazed terracotta which is not going to be the prettiest thing in the world but it'll work um, and I, I haven't really played with the glazed terracotta much so there's that and then the side panels here also need to be non pushable pop up and here I'm going to put in, I need a sticky piston. Pop. <clears throat> yeah, and then where did I, where I need to put that? I need to put a block here that I can stand on. I'm going to use a sea, uh, sea lantern. Not entirely necessary. Put that away. And then because I need just to be able to stand here for a moment so I can put a observer facing in this way. And now I can place in some blocks on which I'm going to run a redstone signal. We can hide that. And the redstone goes here, here, and here. And on this gap here, I could just run redstone. The problem is the observer puts out a like a zero tick pulse. So <clears throat> when when the uh, it'll push all of the slime blocks it'll push the piston out and it won't pull back it's a sticky piston it won't pull back the slime blocks and that's no good so let's go get this pop and then we'll just put slime block or Cool. So now we just need an indifferent block here. Boop. And indifferent blocks here because the slime won't touch these. And sorry about the phone ringing. I'm sure it's a telemarketer. And then here we need to put a sea lantern. Okay, then above here, boop, I'm going to put sea lanterns. And the sea lanterns are here to make sure that the sand blocks down there are lit. And I don't need this. Oh, there we go. Cool. 
and that just makes sure that these blocks are lit so nothing can spawn on top of them cool so now I need a block here I definitely need a block here this should be lit good let's put a block here nice and now we need water let's test this now because if this doesn't work <laughs> yep it's working cool actually I can place these back here oh and I heard something clicking Oh, my torches are being picked up by the item collection system. Very nice. Okay, so now I have water flowing all the way out over. What's going on here? Oh, because it's going this way. Oh, that's no good. Oh, let's let's. Do we need to fix that? Okay, I pop and pop. Okay, so that, that screwed things up a little bit. Okay, so that's easy to fix because it's just comparator. Uh, Easy-ish to fix. Okay, comparator goes in here. Sorry about this. Let me get this all fixed up. Boop. And then... Oh, and I had a repeater up there. Nope, wrong key. Boop. Okay, and then I have to repair my item elevator. There we go. So now, oh, how do I get out of this? <laughs> okay, I need to, I will have to clean up this whole area down here. This works. Huh, this will totally work. So items go down in the hoppers, like these four torches. Go into that into the dropper there, which triggers this uh, comparator. It powers this block, which pushes the sticky piston with the observer. So two observers back to back, face to face, uh, give off a, a very rapid fire clock. Is this a problem? No, we're all well, eight, eight, seven. Ah, okay. We'll fix that. We don't need this torch. Thank you. So I, I have to clean this all up. So it's probably a problem down there too. Pop. Okay. So this this all get cleaned up and 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 enclosed. I don't need this much empty space down here. I have a climb ladder, the, the access ladder to get back down here once I get it all closed up. This is fine. Cool, so now this is, this should be working. So if I go and put sugar cane here and go pop and pop. Yeah, nice. Okay, and the sugar cane gets pushed by the slime blocks and gets launched all the way over here. You can see, <laughs> it get launched. Um, that's not, uh, not necessarily a good thing. So what we have to do in order to protect that from happening is we have to build a wall. A large wall. I'm um, gonna get started on it. Hey, 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 come here. Thank you. So the wall gets to start here. Boop, boop. And I'm gonna leave a little gap. So I'm gonna build the wall across like this. And it's gonna extend all the way up. It's gonna take a lot of glass, but I have plenty of sand here in the desert. And I'm going to leave a gap here as well, because the sugar cane should only come in here. The wall will stop the sugar cane from flying all the way across. Oh, we just updated the water there from above. I didn't know that that happened. I didn't know you could do that. Interesting. Okay, so this will go all the way up. And when I'll show you. And it will stop. 
So if we if we plant sugarcane right here, pop, da, see it hits the wall, falls down into the water stream and into the hoppers, and then it will make its way down into there. No, oh, sugarcane goes up the elevator. Perfect. This is working. I'm happy. Um, now I have to figure out how I'm going to get back up there. Cool. So now, notice. Oh. There we go. Thank you. I can still get on these ladders, right? Yeah, perfect. Very good. Okay, so now I need to repeat this over here. Because the water, as you see, flows all the way across the hoppers, which is fine. But once I get the water in from this side, it'll push back in here and it'll they'll kind of end up on these two hoppers. So let me build the first layer of this side over here. Shan't take but a moment. So we get both sides in, the water flows in, and all flows to the hoppers and everything's everything works out just beautifully. Cool. So now, now we get to start the next layer. If it were possible to put sand floating on midair and start the next layer right here, but we can't. Unfortunately. So we gotta put in we gotta put in sand on top of the sea lanterns. That's part of what the sea lanterns are there for. And then we just kind of go from there. Um, pop and pop. And we need blocks here to hold the water. And the sides, very nice. And here, and then we put sea lanterns along the back to hold in the back of the water. And it also lights the layer down below behind oops behind the machine pop which because the floor here is sea lantern isn't super critical because it's already pretty well lit but that's uh there we go woo there we go cool now of course we can take advantage of the fact that sea lanterns give off light to melt the glass Oops, oh, 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 get, 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 before it melts. Oh, we don't need this guy. Okay. All right, well, I'm getting a little. Pop. Cool. So I put a little ladder in the corner here so I could climb up to the layer that I'm working on. And... All right, so water's starting to melt. Very good, and you can also break it, of course. You don't have to wait for it to melt. Oops, I need one more right here. And of course, if you got a couple buckets, you can use those. So, very nice. And then, because we need end caps, And we need to put in our immovable blocks. So at this point, it's just rinse and repeat. It's all the same as the previous layers. And boop, there we go. Cool. So now I put the piston that drives it on the same end of uh, the same end of the hole for each, just to make things a little bit more easier to deal with and given that these that access ladder could go all the way to the top I may just remove these I don't know we'll, we will see so from here it's just all as I said it's just rinse and repeat we go pop and then we need to put in uh, oh yeah that's right I put a sea lantern here and we put removable blocks and then I put my observer here. You get into a pattern. Boop, 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 and boop. And we put down a redstone. And we repeater. So there we go. And we put in slime blocks.
And I'm building it 12 long because that's a single slime block. Can only move 12 blocks. Um, that's kind of an important piece of this. If I wanted to, if I had more room, I'm constricting myself here to a single uh, chunk, of course. But if I wanted to, if I had a little more room, I could put this uh, observer could power, I could power multiple pistons and, and sort of push longer chunks of uh, slime blocks. So I can make this much larger, but I don't have enough room for that. And yeah, and I, I'm thinking about this now. I might, it's probably too late to, to worry about this, but I could, in theory, oh, can I not reach down there? I guess I cannot. But uh, I, I guess I could, in theory, put one of these on each of the four sides and I could just make it a little shorter, make each one a little bit shorter. Um, but I think this will be plenty. I really do. So these will go all the way up on each of these sides, I think. Along the side here, how much room do I have? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A couple blocks short. So if I shorten this contraption by two blocks, I could put one in on each of the four sides, which would be a little crazy, but it would be doable. Anyway, let me put the sea lanterns in on there so I can call that layer done. And. Oops. Pop. And. Yeah. Uh, other considerations with this farm are. They're not too many, but. Um, sometimes the slime blocks will break the, the plant, especially when it's three blocks tall. And they will the the plant the th the third height the the tallest portion of the plant will just drop down and it'll sit on the i think i just picked one up it'll sit on the sand blocks here um that's kind of unavoidable and if i had if i had more space between i could and i wanted to add another piston like i was saying you can use multiple pistons to push this longer if i had the piston instead of pushing 12 blocks long i had a uh, only six long and two blocks tall i could by building this up another block taller i could push both the second and third tall blocks of the sugar cane off and then I could do another one over here to get the other half of it, but they'd, there'd have to be a break in here. They'd, so it'd be six blocks, a gap, and then six more blocks. That would be a little bit more efficient. Um, back at my base in the village area underneath my base, I'm doing this sort of thing, but I have a minecart collection system underneath. I could put in minecart collection underneath each of these, but it would add a couple more blocks to the whole, each, each section. And as I said, I just honestly don't need that much sugar cane. I, this is a little overkill. Honestly, this much here would probably give me enough sugar cane to keep my villagers, my trading villagers happy. And that's, uh, you know, that's kind of the only reason I'm, I'm doing this. Um, so, so this is a little, this is a little overkill, but you know, it works. I think it'll be okay. Um, and uh, so I like it. So I'm going to get, get more glass, keep building this up, build a couple more layers. I have enough supplies to build uh, a few more layers. I think. Yeah, I do. Cool. So, so that's that. Um, I'll just keep building this up and, uh, and then when I get it done, I'll go ahead and show it to you. And I have to figure out what the next single chunk farm is going to be. <laughs> Uh, I, st I marked out the area for it. Um, oh. Don't fall off the ladder. Hi, Mr. Torch. Thank you. Oh, let me go get you. Ow. All right. So. There we go. So this is pretty, pretty straightforward. 
not lossless by any means, but you know, you're it's good enough, honestly. So there you go. Uh, I think that's it. I just wanted to show that real quick. This probably wasn't as quick as I was hoping or planning, but you know, that's fine. Um, oh, and once I get this, I can I can block off this. I could probably do it right now. So only one. I only need the water to go through here, so I just need a little space there. And honestly, because it's hoppers, I could just block off this wall. Maybe I'll do that. Who knows? We'll see. There we go. But that's that. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.